man another day another reaction man i haven't said that in a long time bro <laughs> that used to be my thing when i get on here when i first started doing my reactions but um yeah man we here man we blessed we blessed to be here but i know thanksgiving the past few days ago we, we know we hey i know you still eating leftovers i think it's about time that you throw those away <laughs> before you start getting sick I, I suggest you throw away i know it's hard bro i know it's hard to throw away that stuff in the macaroni and them baked beans bro i know I, I listen let me know what your favorite part what, what your favorite dish at thanksgiving let me know in the comments but um dolly parton i just see i seen she she performed at the halftime show i didn't see the halftime show but my mom was telling me to check it out. So I said, all right, yo, it must be good as she, as she telling me to check that out. So shit, here we are. I got, I'm going to say, I'm a, I got something to say, but I'm going to wait a little bit. Y'all, <laughs> y'all going to get on my ass. We are back at halftime at AT&T <clears throat> Stadium, where the tradition of giving only grows stronger here on Thanksgiving Day. Mm. For 27 years, the Dallas Cowboys and the Gene and Jerry Jones family have kicked off the Salvation Army's iconic National Red Kettle campaign. Bro, and that camera quality season, don't even look real, bro. Very special guest. Well, happy Thanksgiving, hey, everyone. Dolly P. This year, I've teamed up with the Salvation Army to love beyond the holidays. Now, when you drop a dollar in that red kettle, you can make a difference for the families who are struggling to put food on the table and for the single parent who can't make rent this month. Show your neighbors in need love beyond the holidays by finding a red kettle or giving online at SalvationArmyUSA.org. <clears throat> mm. And now, the tradition continues... Here to kick off the annual Red Kettle campaign, please welcome global superstar and rock star, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. I see she just dropped the album. I'm going to have to check that out. Hey, Dolly. <laughs> What, what, the Dolly a cowgirl now? I'm dead. Well, how old is she? What, was like 71? Somebody said she look good. She said she look good. 71. Hey, we do, I know she'd get more active if she was a little bit younger than she said, man. Let me, let me put my, let me rest my hair right here and I, I'm going to still sing this, but shh, I know her knees be hurting, bro, because mine be hurting too. And I, 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 hey, I know, I know it. Sometimes you just got to chill out, bro. You just got to know your limits sometimes. I'm be going up on there thinking you, 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 you young again. It going to blow your ACL out. <laughs> That's a Jolie. <laughs> Man, the crowd look dead as hell, bro. I don't see nobody standing up. I don't see no lights. No nothing. Y'all ain't excited to see Dolly Parton? Damn. Wait, where is Dolly Parton for? Hold on, bro. Where they at? They, they at Cowboy at and t Cowboy Stadium. Hold on. 
And then she was, you talk, oh, she's 77. Oh, okay. Oh, she from Tennessee. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew a Tennessee voice. You just know a Tennessee voice. I thought she was from Don uh, from now Texas. I'ma still I'm a I'ma wait for what I'ma say. I'ma say I'ma say it soon. Just wait. <laughs> What's this call? What she said? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, man, that's real talk, bro. A lot of these workplaces, when I see they how they when I see how they treat their employee, bro, they don't care about the people. It's overworking them, talking down to them, like yo, don't be showing them no love, bro. And they're like, they wonder why people be dreading coming in. I'm like, damn, you can't even like give them a little pat on the back, like, bro. I see, you. like, let them know, bro. At least some show them something that you appreciate them in some way, like. I don't know, like, I don't know, bro. <clears throat> I just don't like the way I be seeing, so, and like the whole, having to stand up the whole time, bro. You go like anywhere around the world, bro, I guarantee you gonna see, they got chairs like by the cash registers or whatever, bro. So they could like sit down, like, only here they trip like, oh, you gonna stand up? Like, man, let people relax, man. Like, dang. I don't know, bro. I just don't lie. I, I I I just wish you know people out there that be busting their ass, man. They get more you know recognition and credit, like from like their bosses and shit like that. Like like yeah, I see you, man. I see you. I, you know what? How about you get to go home a little early or get you a little raise or just you know what I'm saying? But they just just replace you just like that. Like they don't care. You know what I'm saying? Just taking, just, just using you. You just another body, bro. And shit, it's even getting crazier. We just came from a restaurant, bro. <laughs> they barely have workers no more. They got the robots delivering food now. So soon people ain't even gonna have 9 to 5s. They're gonna be robots, robots, and robots. And I don't even like that, bro. The world getting lazy. Trying to find every cut, every, every way to save a little bit of money or whatever. I don't, man, shit. <laughs> That sound nice. She sound good live. Friend. 
<laughs> Is she singing this song? Ooh, this is the perfect time to bring up what I was going to say. Since they talk about we are the champions. No, y'all are not. Why every Thanksgiving the Cowboys get a game, bro? Why does every Thanksgiving we got to see them on there, bro? It ain't like they winning nothing, bro. Look, I don't want y'all Cowboy fans slandering me in the comments. The Ravens is going to the Super Bowl, bro. And we taking it. It ain't going to be the Cowboys. Every year, y'all talk about this is our year. Y'all get bounced out in the first round. Like, and then y'all be over here. Bragging about Super Bowls y'all didn't had back in the nineties. Like nobody's talking about that. It's a today's world. It's what are you doing for me now? The time that we're in. We ain't talking about the nineties, bro. We ain't talking about that. The Cowboys. Why are they America's team? What have they won in the past twenty years? Nothing. <laughs> Oh, shit. Bro, and they get so much coverage on TV for what? Like, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand, bro. And y'all swear up and down every year is y'all year, like I said. It's not. But you know, at least y'all got hope. Y'all, you know, y'all a little delusional, but at least y'all y'all got faith in y'all squad, man. Wait, <laughs> actually, no, y'all was over here. I could have swore y'all was trying to get rid of Dak earlier in the season, huh? But it's all good, man. Raves gonna take that chip home, so don't even trip. No, Lamar do. Rock you. <laughs> yeah, man. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving, man. I hope y'all ate some good ass food. You know what I'm saying? Happy holidays to everybody around the globe. You know what I'm saying? We about to hit this Christmas. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all putting y'all Christmas trees up. Go have y'all Christmas trees up till like what? March. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting them lights up. Going to decorate. All that. Starting to feel a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go. Anyways, man, make sure y'all like and subscribe and share, comment down below any suggestions. Hit that notification bell so not drop you right there. I keep on doing y'all thing. We'll keep doing mine. Keep on dropping these vids. Like I said, it's fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, so it's time to turn up. Yeah, man. Make sure I drink your water, take your vitamins, brush your teeth, floss daily, wash your ass, use deodorant. Simple. Catch you on the next video.